Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tools Day. My name's Kyle, and today we are going to do a quick first look video. So we've been doing all these sweet review videos where we have looked at past tools that I've been using for a long time. Well, I've got an exciting new tool that I can't wait to get on site. So let's go look at it. If you guys have been following me for any amount of time, either here or on Instagram, you know two things about me. One, I love efficiency and I love getting new tools. So when you put those both together, you get the quick drive attachment. And I have been looking at these for a long time. I've actually reached out to Simpson multiple times to no luck. Um, I just wanted to know what the best system was. And I know there's a couple out there. I went ahead and I went for the Simpson quick drive first. And this is going to improve efficiency on the roof. That is the goal. Now, the thing is, if you have ever done metal roofing, you know what it's like to have handfuls of screws in your hand, dropping them everywhere. The inefficiency that comes with, you know, holding them, putting them in your adapter on your screw gun, and then putting them in. This is hopefully going to take care of all that because we've got a collated screw, 25 screws per strip. So when you're holding on to 25 screws, you know what that looks like, you know what that feels like. This is gonna do it all and it's gonna do it effortlessly. Now another thing that I'm hoping this is gonna do is save my back because when you're bent over all day putting screws in a roof, it gets tiresome. This is gonna allow me to hopefully stand up and put them in the roof without ever bending down. Now these are all hypothetical. I haven't even brought this out on the job site, so this is not a review video, but I'll give you a little bit of the specs just so you know. It's going to drive anywhere from a three quarter to a three inch screw. It does 25 screws at a time. You've got probably 10 color choices. I don't remember exactly, uh, but you can buy about 10 different colors from Simpson. The boxes of screws, I think with shipping cost me about 70, 70 bucks and some change, and that's for 500 screws. So if I go buy a bag of screws from my metal supplier, 500 screws is going to cost me about $40 and some change. So it's definitely more money for the material, but I'm hoping that the efficiency and the labor savings, not to mention just the sheer, you know, emotional side of it, like knowing that it's easier, knowing that you're not bending over, not dropping screws. I'm hoping all those benefits come through more than that little bit of money difference that it might cost to go to this system. The actual quick drive attachment, Simpson makes a lot of different um, attachments. This one is specifically for metal roofing. You can either put your screws in the flats like I do. I know a lot of you like to put them in the ribs. So there is also a rib attachment. So you can set those screws right on the top center of your rib. You can also go and if you look up on Amazon or wherever else, maybe I'll throw some links down below. You've got uh, subfloor collated attachments. You've got drywall collated attachments, all sorts of different attachments that are very similar to this one. Now what I'm going to do is you guys have already seen me use the Makita. This is model number, uh, I think it's yeah XSF05. A lot of questions about this gun every time I use it. It's an awesome screw gun for putting on metal roofing or metal on the sidewalls because it does a really good consistent job. Um, battery time is great, but I'm going to go ahead and link that video here because I've already done a tools day video talking about this drill. What I want to do is I want to show you how easy it is to put this on the screw gun and then let's go ahead and do some demos just to see what it's like because honestly, I haven't even put it through steel at all. So it'll be a first for me too. So the first thing you got to do is once you've determined what drill you're going to use and what quick drive system, you're going to have to go out and probably get an adapter. This adapter here is uh, off Amazon MAA 3G2. That's the model number. I'll go ahead and link it down below, but this is what's necessary to to basically attach the Makita to the quick drive. And all you're going to do is pull off your nose cone. And what I found is there's a little tiny um, clip here that you're also going to take off and you're going to want to keep those because you might want to come back to it. And then it's as simple as just putting it all together. So now that we've got it all put together, let's go ahead and give it a little test run over here on my fake roof. Thank you. 
Oh, little bit of a bonus. This is the new Makita XSH04. They did send me this to basically take a look at and see what I thought. It's a subcompact six and a half blade right, and uh, they really did some cool stuff. So maybe we'll be doing a review later, but look out for that. Not a review now, just saying, hey, this is out there, and it's a pretty sweet saw so far since I've been using it. Very smooth. Obviously, we're not gonna go up on the real roof, so we're just gonna simulate it down here with an open frame structure similar to what I'm gonna use out on the job site with a post frame. And looks like this is just a nice scrap piece of steel. I'm gonna go ahead and tack it down. So let's just get right into it and let's fasten this down with the quick drive on the Makita, see how it does. Actually, now that I've got it like this, I'm thinking I'm gonna switch this handle so it's more comfortable. that easy and the reason I did that is I want to be able to see better where my fastener is going so let's see what we got I haven't set depth or anything all right so as you can see uh, looks to me like I'm just barely squishing down the fastener washer underneath uh, so that's what's nice I did notice that there's an adjustment here so if I want to reduce the amount of pressure I just got to hit the unlock I can kind of reduce it just slightly and then you use this to tighten it back up so that it doesn't work back on you. Let's go ahead and throw another one in. Well, that's, that's actually pretty good, better than I anticipated without really any major adjustments. So our typical bag of fasteners on the roof is gonna be a 250 count loose fill bag. And what that means is we're constantly grabbing into our pouches, coming out with handfuls, and it's very inefficient. You end up dropping screws all the time. So I'm hoping the quick drive is the answer. It might be more costly, but through efficiency, I'm hoping to make back some of that money on the labor side. But that is all to be determined. Um, like always, go over to Instagram where I will be using this tool. I've got a project right away that I'm gonna be giving it a go on, and you will definitely get some real world, uh, you know, stories or just my review on it, and hopefully it's good. Otherwise, I just wasted, you know, probably $300. So, uh, like always, I appreciate your guys' support. Engage down below where we can hopefully learn. Maybe someone's already used this and has good feedback. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button for future content, and we'll be coming back at you guys next week with another Tuesday video. Thanks.